Hello, it's Rachel from Central Texas Zone 8B, and I'm a little embarrassed to show you this, but I have already killed this gardenia. Um, I know I said in one of my previous videos when I showed you all I, I put these in here that I have a tendency to kill these, and I've already killed it. It went crispy. It's I've been watering it. I don't know what happened or... I really don't know how I managed to kill it so quickly, um, but it's pretty much dead, as you can see. And uh, my uh, my pansies are still looking pretty. Uh, they are starting to get a little scraggly. Um, I am going to go ahead and take them out now because I'll show you. Um, I'm leaving town for a, a, a little bit, um, and I'll be gone, so these guys, which are, I'll zoom in, this is the ones I grew from seed, super, super beautiful, I really love these, these are the orchid ones right here, I, think, I believe, and these are, there's several mixed in here, these are the orchid ones, and these are the albia ones, they look kind of the same, but anyhow, regardless, they're, they're gorgeous, um, violas but the root system on these guys I never potted them um, gave them big put them into bigger pots they're still in their little seedling trays and they really need to get into their their home pots so I'm gonna go ahead and switch these out even though these pansies are looking really beautiful I've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of them they're really pretty but because I'm leaving town and I'm not here to like keep these watered I'm having to water them like every single day um, I'm just going to go ahead and switch them out before I leave. So I'll show you really quick um, and I'll decide which ones I'm going to put in here. So these are um, the um, viola, viola ones, or sorry, orchid ones that I grew uh, from seed. Um, and then I have these guys, which are a little tall and kind of scraggly looking. They tend to stand up pretty straight, but they're really pretty. Um, I don't know if I want them in this one. These are the purpura ones that are blooming right here. No, I'm sorry. These are the reduga that are blooming right here. And then this one is the, uh, can't really read my writing. I think it's the, it looks like it's, looks like I put gnome. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what, I'd have to go back and watch my, um, or look at my seed packets, but I'm pretty sure this one's called Gnome and this one's called Reduga. So both of these are kind of taller, lankier varieties um, that I'm got to decide which one I'm going to put in here. And then I also have these yellow ones that are really pretty. They're supposed to be, um, I think they're they're not trailing, so never mind. So I have um, yellow petunias, and then there's white ones that haven't bloomed yet. Just the yellow ones have been blooming already. And then I have a mixed variety back over here, which are also kind of doubled and frilly petunias um, as well. Like the alba, alba ones or albia ones, whatever ones those are. These have um, some really jarring colors that I find is a little jarring. It's like bright red. Um, there was a bright red one in here and I don't really know there's been a couple other blooms like some softer blooms so I don't really know until I see all of them bloom how well they'll work together because I didn't really like the really bright red with this purple for a lot of my kind of pot flower arrangement things um, I think it is a very striking um, color mixture and I do have that out at the property garden um, because my mom likes my mother-in-law likes really bright um, colors and those you know play off of each other very strongly um, but I think that's a little too too much for me here um, there are times when I do like that um, kind of stuff though, so for sure um, but I'm not really in the mood for that this year maybe next year um, anyhow and then there's some softer colors in here and I don't really know what's what it's all butted up so it is gonna there's gonna be a lot more blooms on here soon um, I will go ahead and put this in a pot somewhere just so they can put down some deeper roots because again they are all it just rained a bunch but you can see all the roots are just they really need to get out of these these things then I have this mystery plant that I seeded and grew quite successfully and I have no idea what it is 
It has no scent that really that I can see. It does, someone said it looks like carrots, and I do agree. It kind of does look like carrots, um, or parsley, or or not parsley. Um, yeah, something along those lines. But I have no idea what it is. None of these tags are correct for what it is for this plant. So I'm not sure what this is. But I'm gonna plant it in a pot and find out. You know, waste not, one not. Uh, since I've killed this one. The other one that I planted in the landscape is still alive. It was looking a little crunchy there for a bit, but uh, we got a lot of rain. And it's really funny because I didn't, I haven't watered that one, the one in the landscape like at all, but I definitely have been watering this one. And this was the one that just like, boom, it, it, it died very suddenly recently. So yeah, I think that's probably the last time I'm going to try out gardenias. If that one in the landscape doesn't make it, I don't think I want to try them anymore because I just tend to kill them so much. Um, then I'm going to plant two upright um, elephant ear bulbs back here so that there's a nice tall tropical looking thing and then something spilling over. I think, I do think I'm going to go with these. I, I just decided that just here now. I just really like this soft, beautiful color. I love the, the kind of double frilly bloom head Thing that they got going on. So I'm going to put those all in up here with the upright elephant ears behind them. Then I have all my coleus that I um, grew from seed. There's two varieties here. There's one that's kind of like, I think it's dragon something. I have to go back and look, but this one has all the really roughly um, leaves. And then this one has the bigger, broader leaves. There's a little bit kind of a green, um, more visible on these. Um, these are really beautiful. These are more full looking for sure. And I think I like a more full look. So I might stick these in a little pot somewhere. Maybe I might even stick it in here and see how they do. Cause this gets about half day sun. So uh, we'll see, we'll see what I do. And then I've got these guys here, really beautiful. There's the mosaic ones over here that are not doing quite as well. These leaves are supposed to be really big but they're not that big right now. So anyhow, I don't know what's going on with that, but um, they still look really pretty. But these look gorgeous too. They're just really bright and vibrant and just really loving that. Then I have these. I have, these got a little um, waterlogged in the rain, so they're a little unhappy right now. I'm having to kind of drain them a little bit. You can see they look a little limp and floppy. They had been looking really good, but um, just recently they took a turn for the worse because I was not there to empty the water tray that they were sitting in. And so they got waterlogged. Um, as you can see, though, it is a really beautiful, like magenta-y red color. It's really gorgeous. So gonna get these in the ground as well. Okay, so it is the next day because I got interrupted yesterday. So yeah, that's why one, pro one day projects or one afternoon or one hour projects often become two day projects. When you have a family of five, or when you are a family of five, so, plus a dog. So anyhow, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get started um, redoing this. So I noticed um, these little plants popping up. Uh, I think these are, I had this um, black pepper uh, in this, Momo, shh, come here, babe, come here. I had this black pepper plant in there um, that I loved last year. Uh, I forget the name of it, but I think these are little seedlings from it. I think, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them in the center of this planter and let them come up. Momo. Hey, shh. come here, come here. Uh, let them come up and s I'm going to see what they are. I think this is that plant. It had um, really dark leaves, um, black leaves almost, um, and then these bright red berries, or no, they weren't berries, sorry, they were peppers, and they were supposed to be super hot. I never tried one because I can't handle heat like that, but uh, I really loved how ornamental it was, so I want, I would like it to come back if, it, if this is it. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these little seedlings back up in this pot once I get everything else arranged. There also is an ant 
pile in here that I'll have to treat eventually, so I need to be really careful while working with the soil here. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, the upright elephant ears added in there. It's really bad right now but hopefully it'll look a lot better in about a month or so <laughs> i might pop these pansies up and in, in something just to, so they can complete their blooming period um i might put them on my back porch there so i can look out my door and see them so yeah because they're they're still really they're still going so I decided to go ahead and add these taller ones in here. Um, oh, I just realized I needed to adjust the camera, but hold on. Oh no, you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So I just decided to add the taller ones in here kind of at the back, uh, just to add more since I've got these and their, uh, their colors go pretty well. Um, and then these um, elephant ears are going to take a long time to come up. So I might as well go ahead and stick these in here just to make the pot a little more full until those elephant ears come up. Okay, so right here is where I'm gonna plant all my coleus. I'm gonna kind of mix them all up and do a little cloud of color. Um, these guys I'm pretty sure did die and are not coming back. They had been green at the base and then we got that last freeze in and they they kind of kicked the can for sure then. I thought they were going to come back um, and then I moved them too. So in the middle, shock on shock. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put the coleus back here in a swoop. So yeah. <laughs> So there they are. They're pretty small and dinky right now. I'm going to water them in and hopefully they take off in this area. Okay, so the last one I'm going to tuck some, uh, I'm going to tuck the, sorry, I'm going to tuck the yellow uh, petunias back here so that they'll come up over this. Uh, we'll see how these do. I've had these last into the heat pretty well, so I'm going to leave those there and then I've got Creeping Jenny doll pop, come on over. Uh, I think I'll move these, I'll tuck these into the front here. Um, once these, I'll probably go ahead and remove the pansies um, since I'm gonna leave town and I can't take care of these and these might. Uh, I normally wouldn't do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So <laughs> I hate doing that, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time because of my schedule. So anyhow, so yellow in here, popping over and then the purples and and things. When I find the red one, when it blooms again, I may just take that one out when if because I can't remember which one in this mix was the red one, and just leave it be purple and yellow over in this area. We'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm not decided. <laughs> So there it is. Again, everything looks pretty dinky, but I'm going to go ahead and fertilize these, water them in, and um, I'll show you their progress throughout the summer. So yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.